Hi there and thank you for joining me. It is always a pleasure when somebody takes the time to look at one of my videos. In this one we're going to look at the volume of prisms. Now interestingly finding the volume is not really the difficult part of it. What we really need to be looking at here is working out the areas of common shapes. You'll see what I mean when we get going. So let's get started. So let's start by actually having a look at what a prism is. So the definition of a prism is a three-dimensional object which has the same cross section throughout its length and two opposite parallel ends. Let's simplify this a little bit. Take a look at this first prism and to be fair when people talk about prisms it's quite often this shape that people consider. So it has a triangle on the front end. It will have an identical triangle on the far end and those two triangles are parallel to each other. The shape is therefore consistent throughout. If you were to cut this prism into slices, each slice would be an identical triangle. That's what makes it a prism. So if we look at the shape in the middle, it's a cube and the same thing, square on this end, square on the reverse end and you slice it and you get square shapes. The cuboid is exactly the same. So when we are looking at volume, we need to make two sets of calculations. And actually, the skill that we need is really knowing how to work out the area of the shape in front. Because to work out the volume of a prism, it is simply the area of the front so that is whatever shape that front is and then that is multiplied by the length so the actual volume bit the multiplying by the length in each of these cases here is the easy bit what we actually need to know first is the area of the front end so it is going to depend on the shape of the front face as to how you make the calculation. So let's have a look at a couple of examples. So let's start with the simpler ones. We have a cube and a cuboid. I'm using these two together because the process is exactly the same. Let's put some measurements on here. Let's say that the cube is three centimeters wide and also therefore because each side is a square it's three centimeters high because it's a cube again it will also be three centimeters long now first of all we are going to work out the area of the front face here so the area is the width times the height therefore that is three times three is nine don't forget we are now in area, so that's centimetres squared. So the area here is 9 centimetres squared. Once we have the area of the front, we multiply by the length. Now again, because it's a cube, it's another 3. So we take our 9, we multiply by 3, and our answer is 27. We are now in volume, therefore it's 27 centimetres cubed. Let's have a look at the same example with the cuboid. So with the cuboid of course not all the measurements are the same. So let's assume that this is in fact four centimeters and the height is maybe two centimeters. The length then could be possibly ten centimeters. But again we are going to follow the same rule we are going to find out first the area of the front. So the area, again, width times height is 2 times 4. That will be 8 centimetres squared. That's the area, 8 centimetres squared. We then take that 8 and we multiply by the length. So that is 10. Our answer, therefore, is 80 centimeters and don't forget it's cubed 
Now let's go back to our triangular prism. Now this is what I meant when I said that the difficult part was working out the area because in order to work out the volume of this prism we need to work out the area of the front face therefore you need the formula to work that out. Let's put some measurements in here. The width, so let's make the width 4 centimeters. We also need the height. Now be careful here, the height is not one of the sloping sides, the height is the perpendicular height so it's the height straight down the center there so let's suggest that that height is three centimeters so that's the height from here to here is three centimeters then we can look at the length and let's say in this case we have a length of eight centimeters so we need to go ahead and work out the area of the front and this is where you need to know the formula and it is simply the length times the height so that is exactly the same as it was for the square and the rectangle we've just done but to work out the area of the triangle we then divide that by two it is half the base times the height and that is how you might see it written in books base I have called the length and height is height so half base times height it is the 4 times the 3 4 times 3 is 12 we then have to divide that by 2 therefore we get 6 so 6 centimeters squared is the area of the triangle at the front we then follow our rule as we did with the previous two examples. We take that area and we multiply by the length of the prism. 6 times 8 is 48 centimetres cubed. Let's have a look at another example. Here we have a prism where the front side is a trapezium. So again, the front and the back sides will be the same and you can slice it through and get trapeziums all the way along. So it's a prism. Again, our trick now is to work out, first of all, the area of the front face. I've already put some measurements on here. We've said that the base length is 8 centimetres. The height is 5 centimetres, the vertical height again. I've also included the length of the top side here being four centimeters. Then we have the length, which is 10, which will come last. Now, again, it is important in order to work out the volume that we know how to work out the area of this front face. And in fact, the way we do this is we take the eight plus the four. This is true for any trapezium. So that equals 12. We've added the bottom length and the top length and then we take the 12 and we divide by 2 that equals 6 now what we found here is an average width we've effectively found the width at the midpoint here we need the average width of the trapezium because now we take that 6 as the width and we multiply it by the 5 which is the height and that gives us 30 centimeters squared. That is the area of the front. We are now, having done the complicated bit, going to take that area, the 30, multiply it by the length, the 10 centimeters, and we will get 300 centimeters cubed. So again, in this example, it is knowing how to work out the area of the trapezium that unlocks the method of working out the volume. Three, two, one. So a prism can have any shape on the end and you simply need to know how to work out the area of that particular shape. We've looked here at three or four of possibly the most common ones. There is one other type, a rather special type of prism that I haven't looked at and that is the cylinder. In order that this video is not too long, I am in fact covering that in a separate video and I'll put a link to that at the end of this one. So, as you can see, it's the area of the shape that's important. Simply multiplying it by the length at the end is the easy bit. 
So you might want a little bit of practice working out the formulas for various common shapes. I haven't mentioned the parallelogram there. That's base times height, but one for you to have a look at. If you do want to take it further and have a look at the volume of the cylinder, as promised, that's the video on my side here. And I hope you find that useful. Thank you for watching. The subscription button is immediately below me here. Please do click and enjoy some of my other videos. Thank you.